morning. Uh, it's Monday morning. We're gonna go down and get our stuff together for the post office. Uh, today's gonna be a little different. I had to keep my daughter home from daycare sick. So we're not gonna go out and do anything. Um, God dang. We will just get some work done. Uh, got quite the pile built up again, imagine that. Uh, so we will figure out what needs to get pulled and then I'll go over that. I'll go over my weekend sales with you and we will move on from there. All right. So everything is packaged up. There was nine items that sold over the weekend. Uh, well, there was 11, two haven't been paid for. Like I said previously, I believe one was a pair of shoes that sold for 25 and another was a pair of headphones that sold for, I believe, 37 Uh, In this box right here, I've got that food processor bowl part that I sold. It went for 15 plus shipping. And then up here is, I believe, that uh, Kentucky Derby Squishmallow. Uh, that went for 45 plus shipping, and I paid a dollar for it. I forgot to mention on this food processor, I think I paid like 15 for the whole thing back when I bought it. So I'm well into the profit on that. These right here are going to be uh, some Nike Paul George shoes that I sold. I sold those for 38 plus shipping. I believe I paid, it would have been between 5 and $10 depending on where I grabbed it. I'm not exactly sure. This is that Nintendo 64... Uh, it's like a controller adapter for the computer, I believe. I paid a dollar, I believe. Maybe three. I don't know. One to three dollars for that at the flea market last weekend. And I sold it for 20 plus shipping. This is Dead Rising 2 off the record. It sold for 10 plus shipping on Mercari. And that was from my personal collection that I recently downsized. So who knows when or what I... I, I paid for that. No clue. This is that hair vol, volume, I guess is the name of it. Hair straightener. That one for 80 plus shipping. I just bought that a uh, couple videos back for, I believe like $6.99, something like that. Down here will be uh, a Judy Hops from Zootopia Plush. I probably paid 2 or $3 for that. I know where I bought it, but I can't remember because it's been several months. Uh, 14 plus shipping is what I got for that. Down here is another one. That one will be the Moana plush, the baby Moana plush. I paid a dollar for that, and it only went for 8 plus shipping, so nothing crazy. And then this last one down here is a pair of little kids' Crocs uh, sandals, not, not just the slip-ons. Uh, and that went for 15 plus shipping. So that is everything that's going to go out today. I'll get that loaded up and take it to the post office. And after that, we will just get to work on getting some of this stuff listed. All right. So, so far this morning, I got stuff loaded up and took to the post office. Um, I've got 21 things pictured. Uh, it's noon, so I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to get my daughter some lunch, get myself some. And then I will work on getting that stuff listed and cross-posted. And once all that's done, we'll see where we're at from there. And either come down here and get some more stuff listed, or pictured at least, or call it a day. I don't know. It just kind of depends. With my daughter being home, it's a little bit slower moving than it usually would be. But I will update y'all when we know what's going on. Good morning. Um... I realized that yesterday I didn't film an at like a end of the day video. Uh, I had said in the previous clip that I might get a little bit more listed or we'll see what time, you know, things are all done. Uh, about five o'clock, I was pretty well done listing everything that had pictured. I think I have three or four things left. So I'll get that done this morning. Um, this morning we had some, a few things go out. I'll go over this with you real quick. And then... Uh, my daughter's home sick again today, uh, more precautionary than anything. She seems to be doing better, so she should be going back to daycare tomorrow. So we'll go down to Lexington tomorrow and hit the thrifts 
there since we weren't able to today. Thought I'd go over real quick what I what I sold today. Uh, I have this Barbie Jeep. It's an RC car, but I don't have the remote for it. Um, we got that down in Georgetown probably maybe a month ago now. I think we paid three or four dollars for it, and that sold for twenty five plus shipping. Uh, I sold WWE 2K18 for PlayStation 4. Uh, I paid $2 for this at a pawn shop. That sold for, I think I took an offer at 9 plus shipping. That one is just, I didn't realize it at the time, but that one is not near as valuable as some of the other wrestling games right around the same years. Uh, right here, don't have the artwork for it, but this is Mario Kart Wii. Uh, this came... I bought this with the Wii uh, at the flea market last weekend. I think I paid 40 for the whole thing. And this just sold for $30 free shipping. So about 25 bucks in profit there. So that works good. I only put 15 into the Wii then. Um, I sold Resident Evil 2. Uh, this sold fast, probably within an hour after listing it. Maybe I listed it a little bit low. I'm not sure. Uh, it sold for 40 plus shipping. And I picked this up in a previous video at a pawn shop in Georgetown. I paid $19 for it. Uh, right here we have a mini Mouse, uh, I guess Little Mermaid plush. Once again, maybe I listed it low. I listed it at 15 plus shipping and it sold within minutes. Uh, I wasn't even through with the next listing yet. Uh, and that sold on Mercari. Uh, it looks like I paid $2 for it. So that's a nice little sale. Um... Right here's a little Harley Davidson jean jacket that my fiance found probably two months ago now. It's been a while. It's down in Lexington. I imagine we paid two to five dollars for it. If I had to guess, that sold for uh, I believe thirty plus shipping. And then right here is it's a pair of headphones that I got uh, while I was in Lexington probably two weeks ago now, and I paid. I really don't remember, to be honest with you. I would guess anywhere between four, I would three ninety nine up to seven ninety nine or so. I don't imagine I would have paid much more than that. <coughs> Although I probably should have. I I sold this. I ended up taking an offer for uh, either thirty seven or thirty eight dollars plus shipping. I can't remember which. And I do have two more things that have sold that. I uh, haven't been paid for yet. One is a pair of shoes. I think I mentioned this in yesterday's clip. Still hasn't been paid for. I usually give them a day or two and then I'll message them. And then they, you know, eBay has has you wait four days. So I'll wait the four and then if they haven't paid at that point or at least messaged me and given me some type of plan, uh, I'll cancel them and relist them. Not the end of the world. Uh, and then the other thing that sold uh, is a, a piglet plush that I bought I believe at the same time I bought all those plushes in a couple videos ago. I bought a whole bunch of Disney plushes from a Goodwill for a dollar a piece. And it sold, I took an offer for, I want to say it was something weird, like twelve oh five or something like that. It had been listed at 15 as well. So I'm just waiting for the payment to come through on those. But I will get these packed up. Uh, I'll get back with you, show you what it looks like packed up. Uh, and then we will run it up to the post office. And then uh, at that point, get some lunch for me and my daughter, make her take her nap. Um, I'll probably sit down then and get some a few pictures taken of some things. Try to get six or seven. Because like I said, I think I have two, three, or four things left that I need to list from yesterday. Just try to get ten things listed today. Uh, nothing crazy. Like I said, running a little bit behind today with the daughter home and just kind of a, a lazy Tuesday, I guess. But we'll at least get everything packed up, shipped off, try to get 10 things listed. And then I have to both pick my son up from daycare around five or so. So we'll leave a little early and we'll go by the Goodwill there in town. Hopefully they have something good there. And uh, I will do my best to film while I'm in the Goodwill there. And hopefully the next time you see me, I've grabbed a bunch of deals and have something excited to talk about. See you then.
All right, so as you saw, I grabbed two pairs of shoes in there. I grabbed, there's a pair of Nikes down in here that look like they'll go for, um, I saw some at 50, but the majority of them were probably between 30 and 40 somewhere. So uh, I just grabbed them because they were really clean. Um, I'll have to do very minimal work to get those ready for pictures and put it, put up. These Jeep boots on the other hand are a little dirtier. I grabbed them just because I've never, I didn't even know these were a thing. I've never seen Jeep branded boots before. So I thought, you know, it might be worth a shot. Um, I can't find much in the way of comps. I don't know if that's because nobody gets them or if that's because they're rare. I have no idea. Either way, they're Jeep branded stuff and people that like Jeeps buy Jeep stuff. So I imagine I can get them sold for, even if it's like 30 bucks if I need to. So that is that. And uh, now I'm just gonna pick up my son and take the kids home. And that's probably the end of my day. So you won't see any more from me until the next video. So, well, until then, I still don't have a sign off.